Welcome to this new tutorial. Today, we will see how to train a specific style on a stable diffusion model. We will be using the DreamBooth extension for Automatic 1111. All of this can be done on your home PC. This brief initial showcase is created using the style we will be training. The video aims to be a simple guide and does not delve into the numerous parameters of DreamBooth. However, it is designed to help beginners achieve excellent results easily. In the video description, you will also find a guide and the JSON parameters that can serve as a reference for your work. Of course, you need to have Automatic 1111 installed on your PC. In the channel, you will also find a quick guide for the installation process. The first step is to have the DreamBooth extension installed within Automatic 1111. If you haven't installed it yet, simply go to the Extensions tab and select it, using the text filter if needed. In my case, since the plugin is already installed, the button is not selectable. After the installation, you need to restart Automatic 1111 and wait for it to load. In some cases, there might be conflicts with library versions. If that happens, I recommend checking the requirements.txt file within the extension, as it might be necessary to uninstall and reinstall the requirements. Alternatively, you can check the open issues on the official Git repository for further assistance. The first step to train a style is to create a copy of the base model you want to use. In my example, I'm using DreamShaper 6. Give a name to your copied model and press Create. Pay attention if you are loading a Stable Diffusion 1.5 or 2.0 model because this will have an impact on the size of the images you need to create for training. Let's wait a few seconds, and then we can move on to creating the input set for training. As mentioned before, if you're using a Stable Diffusion 1.5 model, the images should have a size of 512 by 512 pixels. This aspect is crucial for the success of your work. You need to create approximately 100 images and 100 text files to achieve a good result. With different scenes and subjects. I've used a style that vaguely resembles Neil Adams' drawings. It's important to use copyright-free images. Now, let's focus on the naming conventions for the images and text files. First, we have a progressive number followed by the at symbol. Then, we have a sentence that describes the image. One woman at the park in our example. Then the phrase in the style of, and finally, our token, which we will also use in the training configuration. This is another crucial aspect to consider. Note that I have used a single word, Neil Adams. The text file should have the same name as the JPEG file. Inside the text file, it should contain the same sentence, except without the initial progressive number. As you can see, I have used various images, including men, women, animals, landscapes, and so on. Now let's move on to the parameters for the training. For the style, I obtained good results by checking the Use LoRa and Use LoRa extended options. However, please note that this may vary in the next video where I will demonstrate training a face. Set the training steps per image to 100 because we aim to achieve approximately 10,000 training steps. Copy the remaining parameters, and let's focus on the batch size. With 12 GB of memory, you can set it to 2. If you have less memory, set it to 1. This parameter regulates the speed at which your training will finish. Let's take a look at the remaining parameters that you can easily copy. You can also find them in the video description, which, as mentioned, aims to be a simplified guide. After we can move on to the crucial part of the configuration. This section is crucial, and any mistake can render all the work useless. Let's start with the dataset directory. You need to provide the folder where your images and corresponding text files are located. The instance token should be the unique word you have chosen to describe your style. In my case, I have used Neil Adams. 
The class token should be the phrase in the style of, because with Dream Booth, you can also train objects or people, and the plugin needs to know that we are training a style. Lastly, write file words inside the sample image prompt. Copy the remaining parameters, and then you can click on train. The process takes approximately 25 minutes for 10,000 steps on a GeForce 4070. Of course, we won't wait for the execution in real time, but we can proceed directly to an example. In this example, we will draw a zombie. To observe the effect of the style, we will use both the original model and the trained model. We will use the same seed for both. The result with the original model is indeed impressive, but it doesn't capture the specific style I had in mind. Let's see what happens when we use the newly trained model. It may take a moment to load. If you don't see it, please click on the refresh icon. As mentioned, we are using the same prompts, seed, and all the various parameters of stable diffusion for consistency. And here it is, the new drawing that exactly matches what we desired with the training. It closely resembles the style of the images we used for training. Let's also try enlarging the image with IMG to IMG, and you will have a unique drawing according to your preference. That's fantastic! As mentioned in the video, we didn't delve into all the parameters of DreamBooth, as there are quite a few. However, the intention was to make the process as straightforward as possible. Feel free to copy the parameters from the video description if needed. And here we come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel.